So a while back, I made some Skylanders facts, and I realized that I never really mentioned any facts about the individual Skylanders themselves, and more of them just being about the games. So in this video, I'm going to be saying one fact about every Skylander. Note, this does not include any series variants or Skylanders that have any variants. This means only the original form of a Skylander will get a fact. However, Skylanders brought back in Supercharges were different enough for them to get their own fact and their own spot on this list. Also, none of the villains from Trap Team will get a fact, but the 10 brought back in Imaginators will. And since Chaos was a Skylander in Imaginators, he will also get a fact. Also, vehicles don't count, and I have decided to inc not include minis since they're just smaller versions of the regular Skylanders. And just in case I didn't make it clear, it also means Bowser and Donkey Kong are going to be on this list even though they were Skylanders locked to a specific console. But with all that being said, let's keep this intro relatively short because there are 167 Skylanders that will be given facts, so let's go. Bash's promotional pictures show him with more teeth compared to his toy and in-game form. Boomer was originally meant to be in the starter pack for Skylander Spires Adventure, however late in production he was replaced by Trigger Happy. Early Swap Force promo boxes at the time had the mistake of labeling Camo as a Series 3 character. This was most likely because Camo was the only Skylander without a Series 2 counterpart in Giants. Chop Chop is the only Skylander with an elite counterpart in Trap Team who does not have a sidekick or mini based on him. Outside of Spyro himself, Cinder is the only playable character from the Spyro games in the Skylander series. Dino Ring is one out of only four Skylanders that are dinosaurs. Double Trouble is the only Skylander that has another figure that is di in a different game that is identical to his original, except for the base color, of course. Despite being in the tech element, Drill Sergeant is the only one from the original four that is fully robotical. Drillbot's original color scheme was reddish brown, most likely to match the color of his element. Eruptor is the only Skylander to be seen in every main trailer for Skylanders. In Skylanders Giant's debut trailer, it was revealed that Flameslinger wears a yellow blindfold under his red blindfold. Ghost Roaster is the first Skylander that has an attack that can damage him, also making him the only Skylander in Spires Adventure that can be knocked out in the hub world. Gilgrun is the only Skylander in the starter pack for Spires Adventure who doesn't have a legendary counterpart. He's also the only console version starter to have an evil counterpart in the game. Hex is named after a word meaning the practice of witchcraft, usually as a curse. Since Igniter is in the 3DS starter pack, Igniter is the only core Skylander from a starter pack that did not return in Skylander Swap Force. Lightning Rod is the only Skylander ever that's elemental stand on the bottom of his figure as part of his character's body. In Skylander's Giants, Prison Break received an updated design compared to the Wii version in Spyro's Adventure, where he received a more rocky, detailed appearance. On the Wii version of Giants, however, he was left unchained. Slam Bam has iron bracelets in some of his upgrade pictures, but for whatever reason, they do not appear in-game nor on his figure. Sonic Boom's eyes are yellow in-game and in her trailer, but in her toy form, they are green. Spyro's the only Skylander that has both a dark and legendary variant in the same game. Additionally, he also has a dark variant in Swap Force as well. Stealth Elf is currently the only Skylander to appear in starter packs for two different games, not including dark starter packs. Stump Smash is the first non-Earth Skylander that uses hammers as weapons, which is so weird. Sunburn is the only character from the original 32 that did not get a repose or variant at some time, because the rest of the Forgotten Eight did get reposed in Swap Force or got an Eon's Elite later on. Chaos owes Terrafin $5, and sometimes in Skylanders Giants, when Terrafin opens chest, he will say, where's my $5? I guess that even today, Terrafin has still not gotten his $5. Trigger App is the only tech Skylander that got a Series 3. Even though there are 167 unique Skylanders, Voodoo is the only one whose name starts with a V, which I just find so odd. As a light core roar, NATO shell lights up. This works even in the Spires Adventure Portal, though it has no light core toy existed for that game. Series 1 Wham Shell is the only non-variant character from Skylander Spires Adventure who was only released in a single pack. All of the characters from the game also appeared in 3-pack, starter packs, or adventure packs. Prior to Skylander's Imaginators, Warwind was the only Skylander to be mentioned in a story chapter and a story scroll. As Winter Keep, it seems to be a level dedicated to the Unicorn Dragon Skylander. When Wrecking Ball eats armor chompies, they do not lose any health even though Wrecking Ball gains 10 health. Wrecking Ball can also get a 10 extra health by finishing it off. Zap is the only character that is a dragon to not have claws. Strangely, Zook's catchphrase is shown as Bamboo Yeah on his toy packaging, although in-game his catchphrase is locked and loaded. It can be assumed that his catchphrase was changed to locked and loaded late in development, or that his catchphrase was changed to Bamboo Yeah, but failed to cement itself in Zook's catchphrase. Bouncer wasn't always going to look the way it was. During production of Giants, Chopper was actually going to be the tech giant, but as T-Rexes are more horizontal than vertical, it would not fit on the portal of power. Eventually, the development tried other ideas and later got Bouncer. 
Crusher is the only giant who can lift a boulder with one hand, carrying the hammer in his other. In a cutscene where the giants are being sent back to Earth, Eyeball has shown that he's able to lift his whole body with just his eye wings. Hotted is currently the only playable golem who is not of the Earth element. Nanjini is the only giant that doesn't pick up a boulder and uses her telekinesis instead. Although Swarm can fly for only a limited time, he can fly infinitely when he goes over water. In the 3DS version of Giants, for whatever reason, Thumpback's anchor has a greater range and can pull enemies in closer to him, which he cannot do in his console versions. Shriax's attack all uses his right arm except for his soul gem. For unknown reasons, Chill Series 2 counterpart it appears as a separate variant in Skylander's Lost Islands. Flashwing is the only dragon in Skylander's Giants lineup. Fright Rider is the only Skylander that would initially be classified as a symbiotic relationship, but later become a single Skylander upon the renaming of Rider to Fright Rider and Fright to Ozzy. Hot Dog is the first Skylander to have their name based on the food. Jetvac is the only Air Skylander so far to have an appearance or a speaking role in Skylander's trailers. In a particular demo, a pop is on YouTube. When he drinks his potion, his berserker form is pink instead of blue, which is possibly why he gives a pink Valentine's Day variant in Trap Team. Shroomboom is the only life Skylander whose color scheme is not green. In her first artwork, Sprocket wore green goggles, but in both Giants and Swap Force, her goggles are black. There is a glitch that sometimes occurs in the Wii version where the flame on the top of Blastone's head won't ignite, which personally I have experienced. The name of Boom Jet's bottom half, Jet, is the shortest of all Spot Force bottom halves, only having three letters. On his artwork and toy figures, Doomstone has sand swirling around him on his bottom half, however the sand is absent when he's in the game. For some unexplained reason, in early packaging, Free Ranger's catchphrase was mistakenly Hootloop's catchphrase, which I have no idea how that happened. Freeze Blade appeared in several of the beginning trailers for Swap Force, yet he was the only one who was released at a later date. Firekraken is the first non-core dragon Skylander. Out of every Skylander, Gorilla Drilla currently has the longest catchphrase. Hootloop is the shortest Swap Force Skylander with very short legs and a petite torso. Magna Charge is the only Swap Force Skylander to have a hand on only one arm, as he has a gun on his other. Nightshift is the first Skylander to have the ability to return to life after getting defeated. Rattleshake is the first undead Skylander to have an exclusive non-legendary variant figure, his Quick Draw variant. Most of the time in battle mode, Rubble Rouser's miners don't attack other Skylanders, which I really don't know why this is since every now and again they will. Spire Ice is the only Skylander capable of measuring enemies' health bars with his Spider Scanner S3, which is a weird name. Every time Stink Bomb disappears while wearing a hat, his headwear vanishes as well. After purchasing his Soul Gem ability, Trap Shadow wears a bandana around his mouth. Even though Washbuckler's catchphrase is 8 legs and no pegs, he actually only has 6 legs in game and on his toy model, and he can't be counting his arms because those are arms and not legs. In his character trailer for Bumble Blast, there is an error which where the life symbol would be, it actually is the earth symbol, which I have no idea how that got past him, you can look it up after this video, it's very apparent. In the 3DS version, Lycor Countdown's face is not red, but it stays black like the original character. Doombug is the first non-dragon Skylander in the magic element that is able to fly. Rhino is the only Skylander that's based off a of Rhino. If you look really, really closely inside Grim Creeper's hood, like helmet, you'll notice a skull after he goes into ghost form. However, that only happens after all his basic upgrades have been purchased. Popthorn's single pack figure is a completely different mold than his other one that you get in the Tower of Time Adventure Pack, which is so weird and I have no idea why that happened. If you actually put his Tower of Time Skylander and his Single Pack Skylander right next to each other, you can tell the difference. Punk Shot is the only Skylander that wields a crossbow as the weapon. Riptide has the shortest catchphrase out of every Skylander. Rollerball's name was originally going to be Topsy Derby, which I'm pretty glad they changed because I do not like that name. Scorp is currently the only Arthropod Skylander who is not an insect or a crustacean. This is a pretty obscure fact, but Scratch is currently the only quadruped female Skylander to have visible teeth. On the Swap Force 3DS character poster, Slobbertooth's name was misspelled as Slobler Tooth. After two games of Skylander, Small Dash is the first female Fire Skylander, and this is also the longest time it took an element to get a female Skylander. Starstrike is the one and only Skylander who can perform her secondary attack while jumping or after stepping on the bounce pads in Swap Force. Whenever Windup wears a hat, it constantly spins around. Zulu is currently the only live Skylander on the 3DS versions that can glide. The trap titanium crystals on Blaster Mine's helmet are the shape of the base of traps. Despite numerous sources referencing his small stature in game, Bushwhack is actually taller than most other Skylanders. Enigma is the only non variant Skylander to have transparent parts of his body. Gearshift is the only gimmick tech Skylander who is a female. Gusto is the only humanoid Skylander 
that has the ability to eat enemies. Although her skin tone and lack of pupils make it a look a lot like she's an elf, Headrush's bio never mentions her to be an elf. Jawbreaker is the only trap master that's Traptanium weapon is a part of his body. Kaboom is the first Fire Skylander that has eyes but no pupils. Nightlight is the first Skylander to have a Doom Raider mentioned in their backstory. Nightmare is the first and only Centaur Skylander. Mrs. Cat doesn't count because his legs are cat legs and not horse legs. Kripkin is the only Skylander that has a Nitro variant that has no speed related abilities. In Lobstar's Soul Gem preview video, the starfish on his face is missing. Instead, it shows a black neckerchief concealing his mouth like a ninja mask. Shortcut is the shortest trap master, Blastermind is a bit taller than him. Even though Snapshot is the leader of the trap masters, in the trailer for Trap Team, it portrayed Wallet being the leaders of the trap team. In Skyner Superchargers, instead of Thunderbolt saying his regular catchphrase, he'll instead say, taking the world by storm. This may be one of his catchphrases that got scrapped late into development. Tough Luck speaks with an Irish accent, which makes sense since her name is Tough Luck. Apparently, Wallop's helmet was gold in very early development for Skylander's trap team. There are six other Skylanders that have shields, but Wildfire is the only one that uses it as his primary weapon. Bat spins files and superchargers, so we're having a different name, that name being Fright Bat, because Bat Spin was a part of the Frito Lay character naming contest. Because after Trap Team, all Skylanders were gimmick Skylanders, Blackout is the only ever core Dark Skylander. Blade's original armor design was just plain gray, but now it's reflective silver. Cobra Cadaver is the only snake Skylander that is not part of the undead element. Chopper is the first dinosaur Skylander that is not in the earth element. Deja Vu is the first magic Skylander to have her eyes glow in the dark. When Idol Echo sings and moves to the beat of the music she's listening to in her seashell headphones with three different variations. Fistbump's placeholder name was Aftershock, which is also a name of an unused dinosaur Skylander. Oddly enough, both characters have very similar type of fists. Flincon is the only monkey-like Skylander that is not part of the life element. Flipwreck is the only one of the three to lay Skylanders whose original name was not revealed. Food Fight makes a cameo and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 is a part of the graffiti artwork done by Danny Williams. Funny Bones Bone Saw Attack resembles a mono wheel, a vehicle with one wheel where the chair is inside. High Five does not even have five fingers, he has three. If a player selects a hat for Rocky Roll, Rocky's minor hat gets replaced. However, Rocky's original headgear can still be seen along with the other hat when placed on the portal and shown in the character in-game profile. There's a glitch where after using Spotlight for a while, her light dragon power just will stop working. To remedy this, Spotlight must be removed from the portal power then placed back onto it and this is one of the weirdest glitches and I have no idea why it happens. During Gamescom 2014, some of the game developers mispronounced Torch's name as Forge, making people think this was her beta name and got changed pretty late into production. Trailblazer is the only Skylander that is a horse. In Skylander Superchargers, if you put Treadhead in another vehicle, he will get out of his own bike and drive the vehicle that you're driving currently. After 5 games of Skylanders, Astrolast is the first unique Skylander to have their name start with an A, which kind of like Voodoo's fact, I find that so odd. Unlike his previous versions, Big Bubble Pop Fizz can remain in his beast form limitlessly. Bone Bash Roller Brawl is the only Skylander that was brought back in Superchargers that did not have a Series 3 for their original character. Unlike his previous versions, Deep Dive Gilgrunt's Water Jetpack, if the Water Weaver path isn't chosen, doesn't require seconds of recharging. Diveclops is left-handed, which I don't know why I think that's weird, but I do. Double Dare Trigger Appy is the only Skylander that isn't part of the life or undead element that can revive himself after being defeated. Fiesta was a character planned for Skylanders Academy's second season and would have been the first supercharger to appear, but was cut due to budget reasons, which is weird because Activision was in charge of it. Hammerstein Bowser was originally going to have his own element, but then Activision changed into fire because they thought that would have been more simpler. Due to his origins as a light Skylander early in development, Hyvolt still has a lot of light related puns on his upgrade names. Hurricane Jetvac is the only reimagined Skylander that does not have two names in front of his original name. Lava Lance Eruptor is the only fire supercharger without a Dark Edition counterpart. Previously, Nightfall's toy was recalled due to a faulty RFID chip, causing the portal power just to simply not recognize the figure. Activision has stated that they try to stop as many shipments as they could, and the toy was reissued as soon as possible. The toy was later reissued on December 5th, 2015. Sharkshooter Terrafin is the only supercharger who got a character in Ring of Heroes but did not get his original character in as well. 
Smash it is the only Skarner that has one eye because one of his eyes is missing and not naturally just having one eye at birth. Spitfire is the only supercharger character without legs which raises the question on how the heck he even drives. While Splat's eyes are purple in her promotional art, her eyes are green in game and in toy form. Stormblade is the first female air Skander who is bipedal. Supershot Stealth Elf has even less health than her regular counterpart. Strangely, although Thrillipede can wrap himself in a cocoon with his cocooned ability, Millipedes, the thing he's based on, do not cocoon themselves. Unlike most bipedal Skanders and other characters with either 3 or 4 digits on each of their hands and feet, Turbotage, Donkey, and Diddy Kong have 5 on each hand and foot. Airstrike is the only sensei who does not use any kind of weapon in combat, as other brawlers like Kingpin have wrist blades, Crash Bandicoot has metal knuckles, and Grave Clobber has large natural gauntlets. Even though Ambush is a tree knight, his armor is similar in design to a ninja's outfit, not a knight's. Aurora is the only Skander of the light element to have visible pupils. In earlier versions of the game, Barbella had an icon based on a concept of art and her hair was white instead of her yellow hair. Even though Boom Bloom is a part of the ninja class, none of her abilities involve throwing ninja stars. Buckshot, despite having a very dark brown skin in-game, in the figures and the artwork for him, it's light brown. Chain Reaction is the only swashbuckler Skander that does not have an in-game variant. Though short bodies and lacking torsos are associated with the ninja class, Chopscotch has these features and is a smasher. Most of Ember's quotes are actual inspirational quotes from real people. Flarewolf is the second fire canine in the series, but is the only one that's bipedal. Despite being shown to have the means of walking during the Sky Chi, still for some odd reason, Kingpin awkwardly waddles during his running animation. Mystic Cat is the only centaur like Skander that does not have legs of a horse. Although his scepter is golden on his promotional art and even on his toy figure, in game Pit Boss's scepter is still silver. Robo is the only robot tech scanner to lack silver gold or an orange part which are the element's main colors starcast is one of only two scanners that has an outfit but is shirtless tidepool's whale companions share the same character model as the dream whale floating around outside of telescope towers in scanners trap team tri-tip is the only gimmick scanner that is a dinosaur during a grind world challenge wildstorm runs on all fours like a quadruped animal instead of on his two feet bad juju is the only air sensei to not be in an adventure pack. Blastertron is the only fully robotic playable character not part of the tech element. Chompy Mage is the only Doom Raider who wasn't seen in the opening cutscene of Trap Team along with the other Doom Raiders. This is because Chompy Mage was in prison at Cloudcracker Prison sometime after the Doom Raiders were first incarcerated. Crankcase was another character playing the Beaten Scoundrels Academy for the second season, but again was cut due to budget reasons. In Imaginators, Golden Queen is the only villain sensei to play the normal sensei tune when placed on the portal. All other villain senseis have their own jingle. Grave Clapper has the highest amount of health of all the senseis, having 400 hit points at the start and having 1200 at maximum. Despite Hoodsickle's name implying that he has a sickle, in both of his iterations, he does not have a sickle as his weapon. Chaos is the only scoundrel that has a specific element made for him. Also, side note, the chaos you play as might be a clone of chaos and not actually chaos. Since Peñata is encountered in Telescope Towers, it's possible that someone dreamt of Peñata into being. Taekwon Crow, in the level that you trap him in, says that if he does not emerge victorious in his battle, then his name is not the Great Hot Mungus. Funnily enough, when you trap him and his name gets changed to Taekwon Crow, he then questions why his name got changed. Even though Wolfgang states when you battle him there will be no encore, during his capture sequence he says stick around for the encore. Crash Bandicoot has the lowest health out of every Skylander, but this is only because he has multiple lives. If you add up all of his multiple lives health, then he doesn't have the lowest health out of any Skylander. Despite being the only guest star who can talk freely, Dr. Neo Cortex, like all of the guest stars, does not have a catchphrase. Wow, that was quite the video. Uh, this video will probably end up being a longer video, but yeah, and just in case you guys want to know, I put on my community tab recently that I have a video coming out that is 35 pages long, but this is not that video. Even though there was 167 facts to write, most of these facts were just one sentence in link. So it ended up not even being close to 35 pages in link. This script, if you're even that curious, was 12 pages. But yeah, that was one fact about every Skander. Originally, I was actually gonna have minis on this, but I actually just could not find any facts about the minis. So yeah. 
167 unique scholars, 167 unique facts. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you guys for watching.